The Hawk Business Consultants are back with another financial model which is Renewable Hydropower Energy Excel Financial Model. This model is designed for diversion type hydropower plant. Energy is generated through runoff river facility and the generated energy is further sold to the consumers. The table of content includes the input sheet, revenue analysis, financial statements and other financial metrics. It also includes a dashboard for the visual representation of the financial performance. Moving on to the input sheet, it shows the assumption for the capital structure, the revenue assumptions, the payroll assumption and capital expenditure, operating expenses, account receivable and payable assumptions. Next we have the revenue analysis sheet. The revenue is generated related to the 4B capacity and the maximum generation capacity. It also shows the revenue from each segment such that the household, industries and export to the grid. Next we have the depreciation and loan amortization schedule. The depreciation table shows the reduction in the value of your assets for the next 5 years and the loan amortization schedule shows the monthly principal and interest payments. Moving on to the startup summary. The startup summary is the estimation of how much investment is required for the first year of the business. It also consists the graphical representation of total cost and utilization of funds. Next we have the monthly and yearly statement of profit and loss. It includes the gross profit, aptida and the net profit before and after taxes. Moving on to the statement of cash flows, it shows the cash flows generated from operating activities, investing activities and financing activities. Next we have the statement of financial position, which shows total assets, equity and liabilities for the year ended. Moving on to the break-even analysis, it is the point at which the cost and income of your business are equal. The model shows the break-even with respect to the sales amount as well as the number of energy units sold. Moving on to the project evaluation, it shows the calculation of VAC and the valuation of the company at year zero. It also consists of burn rate analysis and minimum investment required. Next we have the sensitivity analysis which is the comparison of the valuation of company in the actual optimistic and pessimistic scenarios. Moving on to the KPIs and ratios. These include the profitability ratios, liquidity ratios, solvency and efficiency ratios with their graphical representation. In the last we have the dashboard which shows the most relevant financial graphical representation of, it, of the model and depicts the key financial metrics for the better understanding of the performance measures. Thanks for watching.